Hi everybody and welcome to the Crafty Maven. This is Felicia. Here's the inspiration piece for this week and I'm going to be working with a sketch from Creating with Sketches Volume 3 by Christine Davidson. So I'm going to get started here. So I'm using my Fiskar Circle Cutter. You can use this on your self-healing mat. I mean you don't even have to have a glass mat or any kind of mat. You just pull that puppy out and just go ahead and <laughs> measure and cut your circle. And I'm using the kit from the Felicity Jane called Felicity. So I'm going to be using the colors that are in the inspiration piece right now. And I'm starting out with this beautiful photo of my granddaughter. I just love this smile and the way she looked. She is always saying, take a selfie of me. And so um, it wasn't quite a selfie. And I don't understand. She, I don't think she understands that at the time when I took the picture that I was actually taking the picture. So she called it a selfie. So that's what the title of this layout is going to be. And it just so happened that I have a black acrylic selfie that was in the kit to use here. So the, the photo itself is in black and white to help with the color coordination here of the layout. You can do that. It'll make it a lot easier for you if you're working with a set of colors or a certain colors and you don't want to have anything clashing from off of your photo to your scrapbook pages or papers, pages. So I'm going to be using quite a bit of pieces here from the Felicity Jane kit, and I'm going to also use that stamp set, but that's towards the end. I'm using some of the black sequin stars that came in the kit as well, and I'm kind of situating in how many I want on this layout. Now I'm going to follow the sketch, but not super close, but I am going to follow the sketch um, except, my, except the minor little detail, which is I'm not going to have any small circles. I'm going to be using the stars instead. So I'm going to cut that branding strip off because I'm going to end up using that branding strip. So I'm going to cut that off here at the bottom. And then I'm going to glue this black strip. Now this is just regular cardstock from American Crafts. And I'm putting it down here because the sketch called for a little bit at the bottom there. And so I'm overlapping two pieces of paper and I'm going to cut this into a banner on both ends. And then I'm going to overlap this piece down here because that's where I'm going to be doing my stamping. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down my circle here and I'm going to make sure that the circle is straight because you know although a circle is a circle sometimes we don't end up putting them down the right way. I'm going to take this strip here from the Felicity Jane kit and I'm going to put that down and then my photo is going to go right on top. Now I don't know if you all see that but there is a photo of my granddaughter with the back of a person's head. <laughs> I'm going to fix that and you'll see how I'm going to do that later on. Right now I'm tearing off the backing for those stickers which came in the cut apart that was with the Felicity Jane uh, cut apart sheet in the kit. So I'm making sure that selfie is going to look right in that spot. So I decided to go ahead and just put it there because I want to make sure it's going to look right. I haven't glued it down yet until I'm sure that's where I want it to go. But I am working on the bottom here of the layout. Now this is how I'm going to fix the back of that person's head. I'm going to fussy cut that flower out and as you can see it worked perfect. It's fit right over that and it's not covering her up or anything like that so I decided to go ahead and use that. And there's that branding strip that I also decided to go ahead and use and I'm cutting off the excess here at the end and that's what I'm gonna that's where it's gonna stay at that's its home. So now that I've done that, I'm going to figure out how I want this flower to go down and I'm going to make sure that it does cover up the back of that person's head because we don't want that. <laughs> and it covered it perfectly. There is, a, however, a little tiny space in the lower uh, left-hand corner of that photo that I'm going to fix as well and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So now I'm going to proceed with gluing down the black sequin stars from the kit but I'm not going to let you watch me do that because that takes a long time and I slowed it down a little bit but as you can see it's not super fast but you can see that I'm gluing them down. So now that I'm finished with that I decided to go ahead and put the selfie right there, the acrylic selfie right there and it worked out perfect and then I'm going to go ahead and start putting down some more of the um, rest of the embellishments for the layout. That flare button at the bottom says sparkle and then I put some of those puffy stickers there and that's how I fixed that lower left hand corner there that was visible with a puffy sticker from the pink paisley. So now I'm going to take this little strip. There's a little gap between the photo and that branding strip and I decided to go ahead and put a little tiny little skinny strip of 
black cardstock right there. So I'm going to glue that down. And it's gonna make a world of a difference. I, at the time I was like, eh, and then I thought it, once it got down, it, it made a world of a difference right there. It was perfect. So now I'm going to start with my journaling strips. The sketch called for journaling strips, and I'm going to start with my journaling strips, which mainly talks about my granddaughter and how she loves to take photos. And as a baby, when she was a baby, she, at the time, she didn't take the photos very well, but now she's just, anytime you have the camera out, she's ready for a photo, always, and always ready with that beautiful smile that she has. And so I'm going to be cutting each one of those journaling strips at the ends on a diagonal to give it some character so it doesn't look kind of plain there. It's just sitting there with straight edges. And they're all going to be different sizes. So they're not going to all be the same size. So I'm journaling a little bit and then I'm cutting it. So once I get finished journaling all of this and gluing those down, I decided that it needed a little something, something else underneath those journaling strips, which you'll see me do here once I get all of those glued down. So I'm gluing each one of these strips down and trust me, it took me a little bit. You can see part of my face there to get them on straight. So sorry about that. You have to pardon that. Sometimes I just <laughs> end up getting that in the, the uh, video there. So now that I got all the journaling strips glued down, I decided that I needed another one of those strips to look like that strip is continuing across the bottom of the layout there. And I thought that would make a great addition because it looked interesting down there. So I took off that little um, octagon puffy sticker and I'm going to put it back. But once after I finish gluing that down, then I'm going to put it back over there. I'm gluing down some of the stuff that wouldn't go down. So there you go. Perfect. And then I'm going to add some more of those little black stars down around there. I just threw them down there to see where they land. I was like, ah, let's see where they land. So, but it didn't, I didn't like that. So now I'm going to situate them and then make sure I get some at the top there as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue those down, but I'm not going to let you watch me that. So this layout is pretty much finished, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in for more scrapbooking inspiration for the Crafty Maven. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.